Well, that was a good shoot. I know. And you know, I think... Let's wrap it up. I have some... Hola a todos. It's I am the Makeup Mariachi. And welcome back to another review of La Mas Draga 3. We are reviewing episode three today, and it's gonna be in English again. Um, not me saying it's gonna be in Spanish in the first episode every time. <laughs> and today I have a very special guest, Electra Lakil Dashiell. She is a trans icon, drag queen in the LA scene. That's also, me. She's also my mommy. Hola, como están todos? Hi, hi, trans icon Electra. He, they, they already said that shit, but you know. It's not you misgendering. I know. <laughs> No, I'm really happy to have you here. This is such a blast to be here. La Mas Draga is iconic. It's so cool to see Latinx drag be exposed to the masses, to the audiences. Seeing season three have such a big budget is amazing to me. So thank you so much for thinking of me. I know you had other choices. Um, so thank you so much for having me here specifically. <laughs> At Violet. <laughs> The real Latinx queen is here, honey. Period. Okay. Ya want a Latina? Aquí está la Latina. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cómo la oyes? No, we love Violet, obviously. I, I, okay, I adore Violet. Yo, that's my good sis. This is actually um, a Violet tribute episode. It is. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Let's get into the reviews. Theme song enters. Oh. <laughs> Let's get to um, reviewing the different looks. Is that what we're going to be doing? Actually, do you want to talk about what happened in the beginning? Oh, what ha happened wow. was... Se pelearon las niñas, como siempre. Okay. Como niñas chiquitas. So, essentially, for those that don't speak Spanish, everyone's fighting, right? They're like going at each other and you must be like, what's happening? So essentially, Miss Tabu was just like reading all the girls. They were like, don't leave your shit everywhere. Like, what's this box doing here? There's an area for boxes over there and here is not where they should be. And then Raga was like, well, I take my shit into this box so I can like, basically nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, any little thing that is out of place, it will become an argument. Okay? But the room is also like, it looks tiny. Yeah. Like, they, they they had a point. Uh, she was in the middle of the room, but that's the thing. She was the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't she say something like, oh, you know, if you trip over me, I'm going to fight you. And then that was like the second part with like stupid drag. And they were like, girl, you're always laying on the floor. <laughs> She's like, this is where I sleep. And everyone's like... <laughs> Oh my god. I was like, not these girls. And then ev everyone started like hashing out like everyone's old drama. And she's like, you know what? Matter of fact, I don't like that top. Matter of fact, why'd you leave that wig on the floor? Matter of fact. She's like, matter of fact, you did blackface. So shut up. Yeah. Yes, they're like, <laughs> not the blackface. Not, uh, uh, not here no, for no, this. not, here for, not that. here for this. Obvious cool. Essentially, they were just trying to be RuPaul's Drag Race at yeah. the beginning. They were like, we need drama. We need we need views. Literally. And honestly, I'm like, period. We, <laughs> you know we live for it. You know we live for I it. I was there like... And I loved every <laughs> single hour. I also had like about two and a half white claws by then. <laughs> by then, and it was the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> what they mean to say is two and a half gallons. By oh, him. that sounds so unhealthy. <laughs> Never mind. I do not endorse alcoholism. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Yeah, don't drink. So that's, I mean, that's essentially like everything that happened at the beginning. Oh, okay. Let's explain the theme, right? Oh, yes. I, I will let Ayan do this part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my gathering from watching this and translating it in my little demented mind. Translating. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We love the trans and translate. I'm a translator. Ooh. <laughs> so the theme was ficheras, which literally means token. I would say, like uh -huh. the, the direct translation, it's, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, very that. Essentially, what I got was like they were they were sex workers. Mm -hmm. It was like a combination between like an escort and a showgirl, I think. Yeah, I think that's, that's what I got. That's right? exactly it. Yeah. I um, was I was watching it with my mom, and mm -hmm. es de esos tiempos. <laughs> 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 Sorry, right. mom. She was giving me the same kind of history lesson. Okay. Um, a mm -hmm. woman who was a sex worker, an escort type, elegant, and yeah. you know, and show girly right. type of thing. Right. Which, by the way, every sex wor worker is elegant. We support sex workers in this house. Period. period. Sex work is work. I would know. Anyway, 
<laughs> and so they got the name uh, Token Girl because... Oh, yes. Right? So every time that they would go to like a client, they would give them a token. And so at the end of the night, they would exchange those tokens for money. And so that's how they got the name Fichetas. Fichetas. The tokens are Fichas, by the way. <laughs> we probably should have led with like, that. We're like talking about <laughs> so They're like, okay, so where... Wait, where is that? <laughs> that is the theme. Oh, one thing also, it's... Um, 70s. There was one movie, last thing, I swear. There was a movie that Johnny Carmona made a point to mention called Bella Noche or something like oh, that. Oh, yes. Bella yeah. Noche or something like that. He mentioned it because it was the first movie that mentioned or like portrayed um, these sex workers, mm -hmm. these ficheras. Mm -hmm. And they were originally going to call it Las Ficheras, but society norms and whatnot, they called it Bellas de Noche. So that's what we're looking for in the theme is like a showgirl that's like a sex worker that's like fabulous and glamorous. Um, exactly. And 70s and, in and, Mexico. And, and, right. All right, let's review. <laughs> let's, let's, let's review these bitches. Oh, do we have like a format? Right. Oh my God. Thank you so much. When my guest knows my <laughs> format better than I do. So it's either an X, <gasps> X way or a yeah. Because sí. we're multicultural here. Period. Sí. Sí. If I like love something, I'm gonna be like, boom. Boom. like period. At the end, we're gonna choose our mas and our menos and our top three. Who should have gone home? All that business. All of Let's that. just get on all with it. All of that. Let's get on with it. Trans. It, you just, just like insert me saying, like, oh, yeah. yes. Okay, one, two, three. Transition. Transition. La mas, mas fichera. So winter. First off, winter. All oh, right. come on, boobs. I'm not a fan of the boobs. <laughs> I, I literally was just about to say that. Being a fichera, yes, you want to like look voluptuous and such, but these boobs are pointy. Yeah. They're literally they jutting out and they're not even like well rounded. You're right. Like you need to be busty, not pointy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, I don't know what it is about it's like the thing coming out of the outfit and like being a pasty, uh huh. But it's like 3D. Yeah, a couple of girls did that. I think. I like personally for me, it's it's not it, worth it. It would have been the fantasy if they were well rounded. Mm -hmm. I also don't like the color of the fringe. It looks like a tacky off yellow. It's like trying to be like country. Almost. Yeah, it's like it's like that yeah. tanned leather kind of like. Yeah, fringe. I don't feel a fichetta in this. Yeah, she also only had like. 20 seconds of air time <laughs> walking down that runway. Oh my god, this is what, Vi actually, this is something that Violet was mentioning to me. She hates how some girls have like 20 seconds and some girls have like three minutes. Literally. I'm like, you're right. I wonder if that's like a production choice. I wonder if she really was out there for that long and they just cut her down. I think that's also the thing, cause like, you know, Letal was actually criticizing them, I think, in the first episode. They're like, they just come out and they like go back. Like, they don't feel themselves on like the stage. That's enough, true. Right? That is true. And maybe, maybe that's literally what they just do. They get scared and they're like, okay, this is enough. Cause I mean, honestly, being on a stage, time passes differently. Oh, absolutely. So, absolutely. Um, maybe for her, those 20 seconds were like three minutes. Yeah. And then when they tell her, girl, like you're just ran in and out. What? Like yeah, I could have sworn I was on yeah, the, yeah. It, that is so true. Yeah. It's a nerve wracking. It really Being on is. stage and in front of those judges is really nerve wracking. Having said all that. <laughs> and <laughs> oh no. Sweetie, I'm so sorry. This is constructive. Quit drag. <laughs> I swear I'm really nice. I promise. I just hated this look. No, I really like her as a performer, honestly. I mm -hmm. like her as a person. Mm -hmm. I just think this was a miss. Up next, we have Regina Bronx. You have to say their names with like an accent. <laughs> I, oh my God, this whole time, I thought her name was Regina Brown. <laughs> You're such a fan of this show. <laughs> I swear, I'm just I dumb. Swear. Oh, Bronx, oh. Like, the, like New York? I, I, okay. <laughs> Oh, anyway, um, I didn't like this. At really? All. Yeah. Oh, at interesting. All. I was living for it, honestly. I'll say the positives first. Okay. I think she really captured the essence of a fichera. Yeah. Um, very much with the with the robe and the way she's walking. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this is the most confident I've seen her look. This is true. Um, is but true. the lingerie looks like. I could buy it at Sears. No, I highly disagree. I think oh. it looks really good. I think I the detailing on this really? is like, like, look at, okay, there's a lace. 
Uh huh. And then there's like these little stringy thingies. Like I feel like it's just well thought out, and it's not just like basic lingerie. And she has these little like arm thingies too. They're like lace. It just it just looks really cheap to me. I really feel like I've seen that like in a rack somewhere. I think she looks great on her. Mm -hmm. It looks great, but I just it looked um a little underdeveloped for me. It gives me more like burlesque, yeah, which I know sure. that those are interesting crossovers. Mm -hmm. Fichetta and burlesque. I think that it's like almost a fine line. I would say like burlesque has to do with Fichera, but it's not like completely Fichera. It's, right? and it's not, it's not vice versa. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. more to Fichera that has burlesque, but mm -hmm. it's not, you know. Absolutely. All right. Honestly, though, for me, it's a yes. I, I, I want to, if there could be something between a yes and an Equis, oh, I'll give you a clap. <laughs> like a yeah. tiny clap. I'll give you that. Uh, every every time you living. give me performance, I'm going to give you a point. True, true. If true, you true. give me performance, I'm not gonna X you, girl. She's a nice queen. I, I swear. I, I uh, swear. I swear. Yeah. I swear. I'm gonna be nicer from here on out. I promise. <laughs> I'm the good queen. <laughs> okay. you're, you're the you're the good firefighter. I'm Glenda. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the bad firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> So, next up is... Ivisa. Leosa. <gasps> oh, period. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on, alternating. Yes. Finishing I'm each other. I'm a others. producer. All right, so she's giving us this red voluptuous hair. She, I, okay, I didn't understand this part where she gave something to the, the judges. I couldn't figure <laughs> out what it was that she was um, giving. Oh, um, and this writing on the back. Yes, I, uh, okay. There's... Oh. <laughs> I want to be nice, but the purple bra, um, breast thingies that are flopping off. I can't know. It's like, just no. like if it was just um this outfit as it is. I what I don't understand what the purple bra the is bra, for. It's the bra for me, really. The blue thing looks cheap. Yeah. Right. Cheap. And I just can't get over like I guess it was like the features that she was giving. To the I think judges. I think it was. But like, uh -huh. why was she giving it to them? You're supposed to collect them. That's true. I don't know. That that part kind of got lost. And then me. like again the the tacky purple bra, the tacky sign on the back. I like the performance. Yeah, the performance. You know, that was cute. But that that little thing. But that's <laughs> yes. That was perfect. Like it. But the purple bra moment, I still don't understand. Oh, that's an ink <sighs> for me. Sorry. <sighs> Wait. She performed. I'll, I'll do this. Right, it's it's the nail it's, clap. It's, 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 the, it's the nail it's clap. It's just an extra for me. me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I, let's do a nail clap. Let's do a sensible, Sound a clap. sensible nail clap. Raga, oh, Raga Diamante. Diamante. Finally. I mean, about time. <laughs> about time. This is high drag, y'all. This is high fucking drag. That look, the flow of the pearls. It's it, the way it's draped across. Like she's beautiful. Ugh. When she came out, I literally said, "Finally!" I kind of gasped. Yeah, I the, was like, the the performance. Um, they mentioned pearls as a symbol of the ficheras as well, and so oh, I think that was very smart. Okay, she okay. said, "Oh, pearls, ficheta." I would make a whole like cascade moment mm -hmm. of pearls. Like, I think that's very smart. There's some things that I could fix, like maybe like the nude garment doesn't match her body. Right. Actually, oh my God, Letal gave a really good um, critique mm -hmm. of that. Cause she was like, your face is a different color than your body mm -hmm. thing. Then mm -hmm. it's a different color than your arms. Mm -hmm. And I was like, <gasps> because she was so gorgeous and that cascade effect, the way she mm -hmm. walked, the little performance she's giving right now, literally with yeah. uh, what she's selling. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> for me, I, don't, I didn't really get the food at the end. Uh -huh. like, she just came out with the food. She was like, here for you. I was like, wait, uh, I don't. <laughs> that was the only thing that was just like, ah. I'm going to be honest. I don't get a lot of things, but I'm sure she knew what she was doing. She knows more than I do. I'm sure. This is. True. I'm sure. Her little faces are so cute. She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, oh, yes, girl. Let's do a side by side with Electra yeah. and uh, Raga. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. But she did a whole like lift and everything. Yeah, right? it was beautiful. See, oh, 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 that, like, oh, yeah. I love that. It's narrative. She's giving me narrative. She's like, oh, you like this? <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, come here. <laughs> it's okay. the shush for me. Yeah. It's like, shush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not Blair. So um, this is a full yes. Um, I'm actually gonna yes. punto this. <gasps> so that's a punto. Period. This is what I love. The mismatching of nude undergarments. I can I can ignore that. It's it's I finer can, details I, that she can look for 
you know, and she's already at that level, you know. Yeah, she like, is already at that level. Where it's like that is the critique, you know. Exactly. Exactly. It has to be that nitpicky. Mm-hmm. They couldn't say anything else because she was immaculate. She was immaculate. I I love you, bitch. Up next we have Hun Hunty B. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, so I like this. I think the tits shouldn't have been that material, less plasticky. Mm-hmm. It would have worked well for her. I like the robe. I like the little tassels on the corset. The corset should be brought up a little bit higher. Yeah, it looked like it was falling. Yeah, it right? looked like it was falling. Like it, it was, at, at that point, just show nipple. It just was like the boobs were like weirdly pushed in, but also like not pushed in enough. It looks a little awkward. Right? Did you like the rest, or is it like meh? To um, you? I. You know, I thought it was pretty meh. The shawl. The shawl. The shawl. The shawl that she's wearing uh-huh. is like, I don't know. It doesn't coordinate with like the actual, I don't know. The, uh, maybe the undertones of honor. No, you're right. The, it, it is a little darker undertone. What I also didn't um, really like, like, so the necklace says sex. <laughs> I, I love sex. But like a fichera is very much about saying sex without saying sex. Literally, like, be tasteful about it. If she took that off, that might have even looked better. I think so, too. You know what? I, I fully think so, too. Honestly, like, if she lost the boobs and just the corset, no maybe, boobs, maybe no like, sex. a fringe necklace. Mm. Like, those ones that have diamonds, and they would have been dripping over her tits into the corset. Uh, and that would have made sense with the little fringe that she has on the mm-hmm. bottom. That would have tied it all together. Like, mm-hmm. more. It would have. It would have. So, what do we give this? Um, I'm not sure. I feel like I'm giving out too many of these. <laughs> I think it's a sensible clap. Okay, okay, I'll give it a sensible like a, clap. Like a solid clapping emoji. Up next we have Miss Miss Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Miss Boo. I, you know, actually her name kind of confuses me in regards to like her pronouns. I'm not sure if like she's meaning for Miss that to be like Mr. It's a Miss Taboo, like taboo. <laughs> I was trying to say it as Miss Taboo and I ate like Taboo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Miss Taboo. Like, oh, okay, so she definitely changed up like the Miss Taboo like aesthetic. Mm-hmm. But I think she kept enough Did of she? the Miss Taboo aesthetic for me to not like it. <laughs> <laughs> like like the horns and the wings. I'm like, what feature? Da? I yeah, I I didn't like this at all. She was um, giving us literal da- lady of the night. I don't know, like Vichera is about like showing your assets. Like I'm I'm very much, you know, I love all bodies. I have a little bit of chunk on myself. You don't need curves to be beautiful. Come on, chunk. Okay. However, <laughs> for Fichetta, I feel like it's a specific right. theme. Yeah, it's right. A, it's, a, it's 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 a, more of the theme. Mm-hmm. It's it's not it's about the category. It, it's the category, and mm-hmm. I don't think the way this is um, shaped is uh, like very appealing to Fichetta. It's just it, it's giving me a lot of different vibes. It, if she took away the feathers and the crown, <laughs> I like the corset. I like that she changed up like the dark aesthetic, and she like well she kept it, but I think if she took everything off except. For for the dress. I mean, it's would have still kind of looked a little basic. Yeah, honestly. And this this hurts because I love her. She really thought she did. She <laughs> she was like she was like she, punto. she said I won. <laughs> It, it sucks because I, I really like her. I love her. Um, she's been doing really good. She so has. Far, so, so this is this is surprising. Like like if you're gonna talk that amount of shit, back it up. <laughs> I still love her. I still love her. I still love her. No, yeah, but the, yeah. her makeup was really good. Her makeup, her makeup was was, was um, more um, feminine than usual. Yeah, I think she made a good effort. You know, I think that's the thing is um, I don't want to fault her too much mm-hmm. because you can tell she tried. Mm-hmm. You can you can tell that she came out of her comfort zone a little mm-hmm. bit. So like I want to applaud that, but at the same time I don't like it. It's an ant <sighs> for me. Sorry. Ooh, <laughs> it's a sensible clap for me. She um, she knows she could do better. Yeah, she knows she yeah, could do better. Yeah. Ooh, up next we have Rudy Reyes. Come on, Anglo Saxon German. <laughs> I'm gonna try to say this as kind as I can. Oh. <laughs> I did not like a, a single thing about this. Uh, oh, you know what? Her performance was nice. Her aerobatics, that car was, I was, I was like, okay. I could almost excuse the Party City wig and Party City outfit. I don't know, like the tool is getting stuck in her hair. You can tell this, look at the synthetic, look. Look at that messy ass hair. I don't know why I was living for the hair. Oh, okay. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I love her energy. Uh, I, 
thought her performance was great. I don't know, and also like that type of wig for a fichetta, I don't think that fits for me. You're right. It should have been like a brown you're right, or like you're right. or, or a one solid color at least. You're very right. It's actually kind of giving me a little bit of Mr. Boo vibes. Yeah, exactly. Actually, it's like it's Halloween that. time, like girl, you're like so right. But you know, I think it's because of the color coordination that I yeah kinda, like it fit together for me. I'm I'm pretty sure that's why she did it. But now that you mentioned it, I'm like yeah no. Also, okay, apparently one, so one big critique of Ruthie, which is why she ended up in the bottom, is that she did uh, Rumbera, which was like 60s oh, mm -hmm, era, mm -hmm. um, and not Fichetta, which was 70s. Like mm -hmm. they actually really, really came down on her because of that. Because the Rumbera, from what I understand, they are more showgirls than uh -huh. escorts, than like, you know, sex workers. Uh -huh, exactly. They are kind of like the more burlesque ambience, I guess. Yeah, and it's true, because you put her up against the rest of the lineup and you don't get Fichetta from this. If you hadn't told me the theme, I would have I would have thought Showgirl. Did she show out performance-wise? Yeah, yeah. Showgirl, but I- She I, gave more Fichetta with the like performance and the coordination right. of the guys. Right. You know, they were there. I, oh, also like the guys just sitting there oh. like, with their legs open. Oh. The moment when you wish you were a chair. <sighs> I wish I was Rudy. I was like, shoot. Oh yeah. When I I wish I was Rudy too, but I can't do all that. <laughs> you know what? I might I might excuse her now. <laughs> you know what? She she's doing it for the girls. It's the talent for us. It's it's a, it's the talent for us. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's an X for me. <sighs> it's an X for me. After all that. After all that. I'm sorry I couldn't do my best, Rudy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rudy. I failed you. No, you know what? You said performance gets points. You're right. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am willing to recognize when I was wrong, when I was being a hypocrite. Period. And I was being wrong. Anytime someone gives me performance, I have to give them some type of point. She entertained me, so let me revoke the X Ooh. and give her a little clap. Period. She gets a little clap. It's a yes for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Up next, we have La Stupid Drag. Stupid, stupid. Oh, girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let you I'll let you start with this one. Well, it didn't do it for me. Mm -hmm. For me, it really was the backside. The fact that she placed so much emphasis on the backside and there was nothing, nothing to there. See. If nothing anything, there. there was like some panty lines. Ugh, like it's there was just that was just the disconnect for me. Is like you're showing something off, but there's nothing there to see. Like, exactly. I really just want to know, like, what went through her mind, like, to do that, you know? <laughs> Me too. Maybe it was nerves, you know? Maybe I'm not judging you for that, but... She looks very much like I was confused by the assignment. Like, the like if it was a nude illusion type of bodysuit going on... Yeah. Um, It should have been nude. Like, why is it black? And I can see the seams on the side. Uh, if I can see the uh, black seams on the side... But you want to make it look like, you know, you're showing your ass. It, it it takes away from that. If it was nude or something, if it was more smoothed out, even a sensible panty, a sensible blue panty with the, at, as the same color on the back, mm -hmm. maybe with some fringe. It was giving me more like, almost like Bollywood. Uh huh. With the with the tambourine too. With the tambourine, I was, I, was, I was a little confused. Also, that wig reveal. The wig reveal. I was just gonna just get to doing that. Doing nothing for her at all. That wig reveal was extremely unnecessary. Look, yeah, I think she was trying to go for like I'm trying to be like a showgirl type of vibe, mm. but it wasn't part of the assignment. Like she looked better with the other wig on, and when she went back, you could see the duct tape. Under, which I mean, I have a shake and go on right now. I'm not the queen of wigs. <laughs> um, you should you shouldn't be able to see the duct tape and and like I mean, I feel like this would have been maybe effective if the shape or like the cut, the length was something resembling the other wig or like uh -huh. something. Also, like just the fringe on like the groin, it looked a little like. I was just gonna say there. I, I don't want to say it. Yeah, I didn't. I don't, I, I don't want to say. It, but I didn't think that it looked like that. But now that I'm looking at it, they're like, they're, close, they're they're puby fringe. It's like coming. Yeah, it's like coming up like growing like hairs. Sorry, girl. I mean, this is definitely a uh, hard ekis for me. Ekis way. Sorry. I I, I, I love you so as a person. I, I love so you as a person. Bad. And he's so cute. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Up next, we have Avi esque who. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'll let, I'm gonna let you start. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I think that's a good setup because they're gonna do all the all the good talk. I'm here, the bad fire. I'm the bad firefighter. <laughs> so I I've spoken to many people about this look and everybody loved it, but me. So if you hate me for my opinion, you are valid. Oh <laughs> yeah, or maybe just don't hate. But <laughs> okay, at Electra, I just didn't. I got it. I got the concept. I I liked that it was like 
titties with like tassels on them. I liked her performance. I just, I just didn't like it. It's not that I didn't understand it or that I thought it's tacky or anything. I, everything matches perfectly. I just like on a personal taste level, I just didn't really enjoy it. I enjoyed the performance a lot. This is the, this is the best I've seen her energy wise. And this is the most fun I've seen her had. So again, for that alone, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna X her. Oh, I didn't even realize the mask in the beginning. Yeah, it was, I mean, I honestly, oh. I didn't understand the mask. I will say she was my favorite performer. You got to give credit where it's due. So I, I'll, I'll let you go ahead and praise this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, your turn. <laughs> Say good things about it. <laughs> For me, it's like, I love a good concept and she is the concept queen. It's the abstraction of like something that's so sexualized, like tits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, what's the question? Tits. Tits. Like something so sexual and like abstracting it and like, like multiplying it, adding tassels to it. So it's like very clearly boobs. And it's like, you're one big grape blob of boobs. I don't know. For me, it was like the parody of it. Yeah. Yeah, Cause it's absolutely. very clearly like it is clearly a parody, and and, like, and it's also clearly a parody, uh -huh. right? And I just love that aspect of it. The performance was good. It wasn't my favorite of the night. You know, I feel like she set us up to expect her to take it off and reveal yeah, something. That's I thought, what I got. I so. thought I thought she was gonna take it off too. I wanted her to take it off. Honestly. It it would have been really iconic if she took it off and she had those same boobs on under that. Yeah. You know, yeah, and that's kind that, of what I was expecting. That would have been iconic. Like that fantasy and like the you know like a purple corset or something and like something cute. I feel like the her delivery set us up for that expectation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she didn't give it to us at the end. So I was like, eh. Mm -hmm. um, but you still like loved it. I still, I liked the look and the concept of the look. You know? The more I look at it, the more I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so like it on you. It, huh like tits <laughs> no honestly the very first time i saw it i was like eh. but the more i see the actual outfit move with the performance mm -hmm. when she like shakes her ass and she does it so like vulgarly or rigorously yeah it matches the outfit mm -hmm. and i'm like oh like i think i i might have not gotten it the first time and i think it was crafted really nicely too because like they're they're not like just balls of like fabric absolutely you know, it could have really gone absolutely like bad mm -hmm. but they're i don't know like there's they're just really nice and it, it was cool to see them shake and then go back in place <laughs> you know like i was like oh yes. how cool like i was like oh they're gonna fall up and they went oh. everywhere and then went <laughs> back yeah, in I, place i have no idea how she constructed this me neither like, so it's yeah it's... i have no idea i'm gonna i'm gonna yes this. Oh! I, I i'm going to yes this well, y'all know it's a yes for me. <laughs> yeah, it's a yes for me. It's it, not like a punto or anything, but uh, it's, a, it's a definite yes. Yes, period. Up next we Ma have Madison, girl. <laughs> you know it's a good critique what you hear. <laughs> Some of the judges were saying how she tends to rely on impersonations. Mm. The point is, is that the judges were saying that this is like, I think the second time she's impersonating somebody. I, I really like the garment a lot. Um, sure. I love how it shakes. You know how we had problems with other girls with their crotch areas? Yeah. This is how you do it. Yeah, yeah. it's it's the V shape. You have to yeah. Like, and like the cut is like, you know, pretty close. It's exactly. not like all piled up either. And then if you're going to turn around and shake your ass, have a ruffle at the end like this. I'm telling you, I would have loved Every, I, I would have given this a punto if she would have just done this as Madison. But I, I mean, but I think the way that she like did the prosthetics and did the face shape, I think it was like, it was believable. Yeah, like, it was. You know, it, like, was, it, looks, absolutely. it looks cool. She's good at um effects for sure. I've tried doing prosthetics. It's not easy to I blend it into the, the skin like that. I loved her performance. I'm gonna give this a yes. Yeah. Clap. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you, you were like, I'm like, ah. <laughs> It's in, what's in between a clap and a yes? I like how we have like, it's like a, five different layers. It's like no. a go off. It's a correct. She was good. I give her, I give her She was yes. good. I like It's this. a this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have Luna Lanzman. As Carmen Salinas. All right, I, I, I forgot about that. Which I, I know who Carmen Salinas is, but I didn't know that she was like a, a, a Fichera era. Same. But I still didn't get that. It's a cultural I, thing, I think. It, I, mean, I think it is a cultural know. thing. I was, again, I was watching this with my mother and then my mom was like, oh my God, like that's a fichera. And I'm glad that I had that perspective on my side because I wasn't in that era. So I, I don't really get the nuances. Yeah. My mom was living. She's like, andale, andale, así se hace. Oh. <laughs> so I give her props for knowing that and then she should have kept it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? No, not the wig. Not, the, oh, wig was, oh, the wig oh. was everything. That's, yeah. how you, that's a good ass wig reveal. I thought so too. 
I love that wig reveal. If you're gonna have a wig reveal and the bottom one is just as flowing and long, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. Like it's that it takes talent to do that. Yeah, because like you really weren't expecting that. And yeah. not not a single strand on her face. Mm-hmm. It just like fell into place. Yeah, and like that takes like, that takes fantasy. practice. The only thing I was talking about what I didn't what she took off was the robe, only because of the black leggings. Literally, yes. I actually didn't even notice this when I first saw it. I was just, cause, oh, you know why? Because with the shots that they filmed, they cut off that part. Maybe with good reason. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably on purpose. But like, that's why I didn't notice it as much. Cause yeah, like, look right here, you're so right. So th that beginning part was giving me more like boss lady, like I'm the one in charge, I'm the one calling the shots. She's Definitely. getting drunk, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it lasted a little too long, or like a lot too long. It was. And then at the it end is when on. I was like, yes. Like when in the end, everything made sense. Right. I think. Right. Um, if she edited it a little bit, edited it, I can't edited say Edited it. Yeah, no, that's it. That's okay. Literally... Okay, cool. If she edited it. <laughs> but yeah, she. Re I feel like she really thought she was doing something with this character. Not you becoming the, the bad firefighter and switching roles. <laughs> Am I the nice one now? It's oh. called a narrative arc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what do you give this? Um, I, I'm gonna give this a yes, honestly. I think overall, yes. Overall. It's, it's overall a yes. Edit. It, edit. But that's it. And yeah. And so if, if I'm being that nitpicky, like you, you get a yes, girl. Yeah. I, I forgot about the wig reveal. Yes! <laughs> and last up, we have Memo Rady. Memo, Memo, Memo. My papacito. Memo, if you're watching this, I'm newly single. So oh. I'm looking to get my insides rearranged emotionally and physically. So if you're watching this, I'm open to anything. It is the champagne glitter for me. I love that. that. Okay, that was one of my favorite parts of the whole performance. He just looks so comfortable on stage. I got his stick right away. Like, I got exactly what he was doing because of his movements and everything. Uh -huh. And I think he explained it later. He's like, oh yeah, it's like, I'm like my uncle trying to be one of the girls. You that's know? That's literally what I and got. That, and that's, that's what ex literally I, I got that from the second he came out. I was like, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And he's just like in the club having a good time, you know? Really? Like, I mean, it was interesting too, because as a drag performer doing masculine drag in a challenge that is purely like a feminine uh -huh. aesthetic. That part. You know, like. That part. It, even for me, I was like, how, I'm like, what's he gonna do? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. They the kind of criticized him because. They criticized his makeup. They said, oh, the, the makeup could have been more and like, the, like you should have had like a bigger wig or something. I, I liked it. I know that some of the, like detailing might look a little bit cheap. Yeah. But like the appendage that is sticking Girl, out. The member. The member that is sticking the out. The hoo ha, the ding dong. That was just so smart. I, I really, I really like what he said. He said, um, oh, if girls can show off their assets, why can't I? I was like, oh my God, period. Like, yes, it's absolutely. It's about the illusion, about the fantasy. Like if I was at a club and they were walking down my way, I would give you a feature or whatever they're called. <laughs> You know, it's so funny. I didn't notice the um, the prosthetic, <laughs> the pack. Do you, do you know it's a prosthetic? <laughs> Is that what you mood at Carla, the host, because she was she literally she literally asked, asked that. that. She was like, "Is real? No is real." Dead I ass. Want to know? I'm beating around the bush. I hope you don't ass. think I'm like being offensive. I just need to know. Can't blame her. Bio King's effect. <laughs> like to be honest, <laughs> honestly, and this is what I think about a lot, and I really, honestly appreciate the show for having him because we've never seen a Bio King mm -hmm. on a drag show. Never. Maybe ever. Like for a lot of us, it's different. Yeah, you know? it is different. I think it's important for all drag and art to be represented because all we see is usually like the norm the or, queens, or the queens or the whatnot. cis men dressing up as uh, feminine illusion. Exactly. And we don't get to see. We don't. We barely get to see like drag kings, cis women dressing up as mm -hmm. masculine illusion, or even people like in between, like NB drag, and much less people that do the same drag that aligns, I guess, with their like gender identity. Uh huh. Right. right? That gets criticized a lot. Yeah, because they're like that's the, not drag. That's you drag just community. you dressing up or whatever, right? And I'm like, it's, it's, it's an art form. It's drag. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Drag is for everybody. Like drag is literally for everybody. The whole point of being with community and being queer is to not close off any boxes or put anything in any boxes. Otherwise, like, like what the, what is the point? What you is know? the point? We get ostracized from one community and then from our own community. We can't like, be doing that. Everything is fluid. Nothing exists. Everything. Nothing exists. Drag is fluid. Gender is fluid. Nothing exists. Everything's made up. So wow. let people be happy. Honestly. Let people do things. Just, yeah. ha just have fun doing it, you know? Just have fun. Given that, I do feel like he could have gone a little bit more with this. You mentioned the ruffles on the back. I feel like they could have been a little bit more fluffy. And they look they look tacky too. Yeah, it looks it looks the material, like the material. It looks like a tablecloth. That's mm -hmm. not even shade. Yeah. It looks like an actual tablecloth. 
<laughs> also the corset I think the corset like I think he was just trying to go with the fantasy but I, uh -huh. I would have loved to see him cinched yeah like, like an cinched, actual corset like an like, actual corset like that would have been cool because it was it would literally give us like the old man like in, in the Liter head out liter literally right? maybe some more feathers but besides that I think the performance was he did an old man so convincingly I yeah. have to say I literally was like whose fucking grandfather is this <laughs> like I'm telling you for you to like be able to tell me the story uh, in the in the introduction in the first chapter mm -hmm. like for me to get it immediately that's that's good Period. What, what do you give this i give this a yes i give this like, a yes as well it's uh it needs it needs some work but it's honestly like i think overall a yes uh, yeah i completely agree i completely mm -hmm. agree all right now it is time to give our mas menos. and our menos mas y menos mas y menos let's give our top three and bottom three and then we name our mas and menos i am down for that i would just point to them and you give me their name let's do our menos first what did I say? let me put um elevator music on come on jeopardy oh exactly <laughs> so for sure winter for sure ibiza oh and stupid drag yeah, she, yeah. Mm -hmm. my my bottom for sure um stupid drag a stupid drag <laughs> <laughs> uh Bronx, right? Regina Brown. R Regina, <laughs> Regina Brown. <laughs> Nina Bonina Brown. Regina Bronx. Uh, Stupid Drag and Evisa would be would be my bottom three. Mm -hmm. Not Winter. Oh. Yeah, I don't. Mm. The other, she was. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, <"Ooh." laughs> you can have a bottom four. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Machine. you better put Winter in there. But so. I mean, I think our menos is like the same one. One, right? two, three. Stupid Drag. Electro. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, this is really funny. Bye. Have it. Have it. I can't get up because I don't have. Um... Yeah, we know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, now the exciting part. <laughs> now the fun part. <laughs> now the fun part. <laughs> Let's see. You you go first. I think. Okay. I went first last time, right? Oh, I am not you blanking. You I am this. not blanking. Raga, right? Is yeah, pearl? The pearls. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Raga Diamante is uh, one of my tops, along with Madison. Oh, really? Uh huh. Okay. Period. And okay, no, let me change it. Uh, it's gonna be Raga Diamante, Luna, and Memo. Okay, those are my top three. Okay, all right. My top three would be Javier's Raga Diamante for sure. Mm. I was gonna say Rudy. My my one of my top three was Rudy at first, wow. but after this whole <laughs> discussion, I'd say Javier's Raga and Memo for me. A oh, period. Yeah. Period. We we love to see it. We love mm. to see it. Who is your mas? <sighs> That's the question, isn't it? I think I know who you're gonna pick. I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> I think she really served it. And she really dug herself out of the hole, honestly. Like, what Work? about you? What about you? Not her. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> hmm. I'm having, I'm having conflicting thoughts though. No, Raga. Raga Diamante for sure is gonna be my mask. Okay. I can forgive the new disparities. Right now on the stage, like when they're all in front, you can't, can't tell. Even tell. You can't even can't see even it. Tell. If we have to be that nitpicky, for me, that's a good thing. If you have to go down to that nitty gritty, I don't understand how she wasn't up there. I really don't. I, I thought she should have taken it. Was she my only punto? Yeah, she was my only punto. She was your only punto. Mm -hmm. I had none. So. <laughs> So who's the mean one now, huh? That concludes another successful episode review of Yay. La Mas Draga. Tres. But Ayan, thank you so much oh, for having me. Oh, thank you for thank coming. Thank you for having me a special invitee. And remember, y'all, this is all good fun. You know, we, we're just kiki. If, if we bashed on your faves, good. Get, Let's go. get over it. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. No, oh my God. Thank you so much for No, no, no. For thank you for coming. No, no, no. Thank you for You're having right. me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Um, as a proud uh, trans Latina, I Here adore La Mas Draga and I adore um, all types of Latinx drag and seeing representation is important. But what's more important is having people like you doing these cute ass reviews and letting the world know that this exists. So thank you mm -hmm. for having me. Remember to support La Mas Draga 3 and remember to report. To report. <laughs> <laughs> report not me. report remember to support Ayan aka the makeup mariachi on all of their handles this bitch is an Instagram icon now a YouTube icon you deserve all I'm the like praise fluffy fluffy <laughs> no they're literally like one of the sweetest persons I know so please give them all the love and you know if you want to support me while you're at it then my Instagram is electra underscore wolf
I do a lot of Latinx drag as well. She is a fucking beast <laughs> on Instagram Live. She has Thank her you, own baby. show called This Madre. I do have my own show called This Madre. It is a only POC cast. Yeah. Um, Ayan was on it. You were like, I think my, either my second or like my third drag show like ever. Oh my God. Like, I feel so special. I feel special. I was like, my mom wants me to be on her <laughs> show. You were great. You were iconic. So support Ayan and then support me if you want. Like, support a, after supporting them, <laughs> then you can come support me. <laughs> the links are all down below, so just click that follow button, click that subscribe button, click that like button, write a little comment, hopefully something cute. If not, I'll take those too. And um, yeah, I'll pues, see you all pues next yeah. time. Adios. Let's send them off. The Trans Latina Icon Electra Iayan. <laughs>